welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to thank you all for stopping by. Now in today's video, I had two coupons burning a hole in my pocket and uh, some of the comments that I saw were, are the coupons for your entire purchase or just one individual item? Typically they are for one item. So when I got to the first Goodwill, I uh, went to check out and I went to use it and I was like, oh, I should have given it to you before because normally you have to pick your item and I always pick the highest priced item to get the discount. She's like, oh no, it's the whole purchase. I'm like, oh, I wish I would have known because then I would have bought more stuff, but it was all good. So I did buy stuff, um, a few items at the first Goodwill. At the second Goodwill, I scored big. And if you remember correctly from my post, I said that I was looking for like a buffet of some sort or something like that. I wanted to put that in my booth, but I also am trying to organize all my IOD items. So currently they're organized, but I wanted a shelving unit and I was going to build myself one. Well, I found a really cool antique one right here. So that was normally $50 and I ended up getting that at 50% off. And I'm going to try to pull it out so you guys can see it, but it's really heavy. Um, it took actually like two, almost three people to get it into my truck. So I'm hoping that when I pick my daughter up, my daughter and I can get it into the house before dark um, when I pick her up from school. So I was extremely excited and I love that it was off the entire purchase. So I got that. I also ended up finding at the Goodwill um, a Wisconsin cutting board. I thought this was pretty cool. I think I'm gonna keep this one maybe for myself. It was only $3.99. It's, um, bamboo it says totally bamboo so I loved it so I grabbed that and then I was taking this out of my car and I'm so mad at myself I set it down a little too hard and it one of the legs it broke off but I do have wood glue and I also have a brad nailer so I can definitely fix that but it had pretty little feet and it's just a really cute table so it was $9, I ended up getting it for half price, so $4.50. And so that was at the one Goodwill. So I ended up getting the, um, like the shelving, uh, vintage shelving unit, kind of like armoire, uh, the table and the cutting board for $30. So <laughs> it was like, wow. Uh, so then at the first one, I ended up getting this. I love having like, little crates that I can um, purchase and then refab. So I think I'm gonna refab the front, take out this stuff. What, that's gonna be a total mess, I can guarantee it. Uh, and then I ended up just getting a few other items. So I was kind of sad, you guys. It, you know, from, I was wondering, like, I'm like, okay, I wanna go today. I didn't wanna go on the weekend because with Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, uh, I just figured, even though it's Goodwill, I figured there was going to be a ton of people there and the shelves definitely showed it. So they were putting out new items and I think a lot of the items that I you know, did pick up were the new items. So I got this, it is well, and I'm not really digging the gray because the inside doesn't pop, but I thought I could even paint it up and make it, you know, just, a little more pop. So this was $3.99 and actually purple was the half price item I think so I ended up getting it for two dollars. So I got that. Um, this was $7.99 but it was so pretty and I think it actually is crystal. I'm not sure it just looks like it so pretty and my pictures have been going over really well too. So I have like a I display and I just, as I find really unique ones, as I'm thrifting, I pick them up and I put them in my um, displays. And like I said, they go over really well. So I ended up grabbing that. Now, if you remember, I actually thrifted two more of these. Now this one does say USA on the bottom. And the other one, I think one did say USA 
And the other one that did not say USA, I did a transfer on that one. So I thought this was so pretty. It was $1.99. So I grabbed that. All right, I also found this cute little tree. I thought to put in my display, something easy. This is $2.99. So fix that baby up and just set her on in there in my display. I also have one of these, this was 99 cents. I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to do something fun with it. Make the make two of them maybe identical. And then I found this. I think it was supposed to maybe have something, but I thought he was so cute for my little Chris for my Christmas tree. Loved him. And then the last thing that I ended up grabbing, this was $5.99. I thought this was kind of cute too for my my booth so all of that today and but i have to tell you here you guys i'm trying to get rid of my hoard i'm trying to offload i've been pulling stuff out flipping it getting it in my booth and then i'm driving along well first of all i get a call from my mom and her friend lives over in a town called menasha and my mom's like Nancy just called. She said there's some chair, six chairs, really nice ones out in the garbage. And I'm like, oh, I really need some chairs because I recently sold the chairs that were in my booth at the GOAT and I have a big table in there and I need to have six chairs for that. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity. So I ended up going over there. They were still in the garbage. She thought, she kept telling my mom, they're gonna go fast. They are, they look pretty nice. They're very, very sturdy. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, did something break? No, it was my other item that I picked and I'll show you that in a minute. But it, uh, the seats are filthy, dirty. I'm gonna remove all of that, clean them, recover them. I like the pattern. I think it's kind of fun. And I am going to paint them. Um, so I want to show you like the legs. I think they're, they're really in good condition. So I'm going to wash them all up, clean them all up. So there's six of them, got them free. And typically at Goodwill, the price of a chair typically runs around $10 a chair. So if you add that up, that would have been $60. So I grabbed those, had it home, and I'm talking to my mom. And next thing you know, I'm like, mom, oh my gosh, another table and chairs. Well, the table for this set was not in good condition. I, it was really bad actually. So I passed the table up and I grabbed the chairs because I wanted to put it with my set. And then I'm like, my, I have six chairs in this back end. Oh my gosh, there's no way I'm good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get four more chairs in. And if I like the table, I will not be able to get that in. So I'm driving, I spun around, went around the block. I'm like, oh my gosh, the chairs are so cool. I love them and the table. So they had the legs off of the table. I wanna show you the legs first. So here are the legs. Are these not just the coolest? Really substantial. They're square. I love how, I just love them. So I grabbed the legs because I figured nobody would take the table top if I had the legs. So the, I grabbed the legs right away. And I ended up having the six chairs back here. I was able to push them all the way up. Got two more chairs back here. And then I was able to squeeze the other two in my passenger seat. How? I have no idea. But I'm gonna show you those chairs now. These are super duper heavy. All right, let me. So I think they're very cool looking. I love the design, the diamonds. They're solid wood. I do need to recover them, but that's okay. And I just think like there's a mark marking here. I don't know if you can see it. This looks really cool how that is. I just loved them, loved them, loved them. So I got the four chairs, the table. 
I'm going to redo those. I think I'm going to put those over. I want to redo my entire booth over at Antica. There is a table over there currently with four chairs and it is a smaller round table. So I'm going to take that table. I'm going to put that over at Water Street Vintage and because Water Street Vintage is a little bit more of a quaint and tiny booth. So I thought it would be perfect there. And then I'm going to put this table over at Antica. And I plan on redoing that probably after the holidays. So it'll give me plenty of time to redo the table and the chairs. I have, I'm going to pick a really fun color for um, the legs and the actual chairs. And then the top, I think I want to do like either a gray or there's this like darker stain. Um, I used to like to use that gel java stain, but then I discovered this other type of stain that I really like because you can still see the grain through it and the top is in pretty good condition. And it's right here with this heavy thing on top. So I don't want to take that out. Uh, but then, <laughs> I go, so long story short, I did go grab the four chairs and the legs, dropped everything off, then went back and got the top. Then I did my, I hit the Goodwill up in Menasha. Then I went over to another Goodwill in Appleton and then I'm on my way home. And then this, I don't want to break this. So I'm going to move these. Uh, but I want to show you <laughs> that I ended up finding this. And it is a little rough, but I think if I replace one of the arms, it will be really cool. So it's a, it's a porch swing. So, I, oh my God, here, I'm trying not to break stuff and look at, so it's a port swing guys. And one of the arms you can see is a little rough and this board back here is a little rough, but I think I can do something with it. And I think it'd be really cool if I get it fixed and I hang it for spring over it at the yield goat because at the goat I have my pergola over my booth and I thought that'd be kind of fun to hang it. So I grabbed that. I thought I could put um, some pillows on it and make a whole display. So we'll see. That is also another spring item. So here I'm trying to offload and get rid of stuff. And now I'm putting a ton of stuff back into the garage. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. I have been extremely busy trying to prep and prepare for December. So I've hinted to you all that I will be doing something on December 1st. So on December 1st, which is Thursday at five o'clock, you guys watch, um, I am gonna be making uh, an announcement on December 1st. So. I will be putting out a video and making that announcement. And so just be watching for that. Now that we are done with this video, I am going to continue on with my outside decorating. I have been posting things over on Facebook. I've been out and about in the North Woods of Wisconsin, um, picking all kinds of amazing things to decorate my home um, and my containers. So. This, I, like I said, is going, was a really quick video, but I wanted to put something out for you guys today and give you an update. Uh, but tonight I will be going live over on Facebook. We are going to do a holiday DIY. So come and join me over there if you haven't yet. And um, I'm also going to be live on Wednesday and we are gonna do an eggnog night on Friday. So three nights of lives this week at six o'clock central time over on Facebook. And then, like I said, over um, here on YouTube, I'll be putting out a video on Thursday at five o'clock central time. So be watching for that. And that's going to be my little announcement. Well, you guys have a great week. We'll see you Thursday. Bye. Bye.